Well, it is Furry Friday, and Katie Bormans from the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region is joining us with this little treasure. With a lot yes. of fur. <laughs> it is a furry Friday. Buster. <laughs> oh, he is too cute. Tell us about him. He is. He's about nine weeks old. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually has nine brothers and sisters. Oh, he's got a big so he's family. Got a big family. He came into the Humane Society as a as a transfer. He was transferred from another shelter in Colorado um, that wasn't able to to care for the that big of a family yeah. and so we put him into foster care with his mom and his brothers and sisters and now he's ready for adoption well, he is a little love bug and i i feel like the family that gets buster needs to pay a lot of attention to him y yes he, he he likes attention <laughs> Well, he is sweet. Uh, tell us about, so there's a fee for adoption. Tell us what it is and what uh, what all it includes. Well, we want to get everybody that goes out the door set up for success mm -hmm. in their new home. So when you adopt a, a cat or a dog from the Humane Society, you get that certificate for the veterinary exam, the free veterinary exam. Mm -hmm. They've had their first round of vaccinations, dewormer and frontline. Um, they get a microchip, so that's very, very important. We mm -hmm. always recommend collars and tags as well, but they have that microchip chip nice. when they leave. Uh, a one-year dog license and Buster is sporting his here today. Yes, you are. Um, mm -hmm. And so, it, you know, they're all going to be spayed or neutered before they leave as well. Do they come so. with their little football outfit? N this is n not included. <laughs> football outfit, as, as shown, is not included, but he is ready. He was actually starring in our Puppy Bowl video, uh -huh. our Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region Puppy oh, Bowl video. Stop. He's one of the cute. stars, mm. and so he um, he's wearing that this evening so in honor of the big for? game. Sunday. Uh, you know, he's he seems to kind of be waffling. Oh, he's I get just, it. I, I'm with you. Sometimes New England, sometimes Seattle. He's all over the map. And um, <laughs> you guys do a lot of preventative care, so the dogs kind of have a head start when people get them, right? Tell us yeah, about that. You know, we get a lot of stray animals in that need some pretty pretty intensive care. Mm -hmm. Animals that come in with fractures. Maybe we have a uh, dog that needs a leg amputated. Um, our veterinary staff sees a, a lot, a lot of issues that mm -hmm. animals are coming in with. I remember one case in which um, a dog, a puppy, had swallowed a plastic bag oh, and needed emergency surgery. Okay, so they so, are well yeah, cared We for have a, a full veterinary staff that can take care of those emergency situations like that, but then they're also treating things like dental disease. We'll do dentals on animals that have severe dental disease. Again, we want to get them set up for success when they go home with you. Okay, well I think Buster is ready for new family and I think He's going to find one pretty easily. I don't think it. W I don't think it will be difficult. I'm just guessing. Well, thanks for being here, and thank you, Buster. We're back after the break.